Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, old captain here just woke up and uh, time to get the work done. <clears throat> Young man writes, uh, I enjoy watching your videos. I agree that studying engineering STEM is the way to go. I was stupid and naive for majoring in stupid crap many years ago in my 20s. Despite that point, I would like to know what is your opinion on the flood of H-1B Indian workers who are being imported into the United States to replace the American workers. An example of this would be the American IT Disney workers who were replaced by H-1B Florida's and worker, uh, workers in Florida. The American workers had to teach their Indian counterparts their job and then they were let go. Uh, what is the point of majoring in STEM if these companies can simply import an infinite amount of Indian H-1B workers who simply work for far less than the average middle class American in the United States? Based on this fact, is studying STEM just as useless as the humanities? Is it better to just stay home and spend your time playing video games while smoking weed as the H-1B workers get all the STEM jobs. On a capitalist too, there is no such thing as a free lunch. How much for a video response? Uh, like the, the YouTube, repeat customer thing. Well, thank you, Ryan. I apologize for not getting this to you. I don't know why this your email keeps ending up in the spam folder. Um, anyway, so I did a little bit of research. I read that. And yes, there's a, a two lawsuits against Disney. Um, where this exactly happened as part of their severance package. If they wanted one, these people would have to train in um, their replacements. Now, what that... W am I against that? Yes, obviously. Uh, because if, if... Why having... It, it's, it's like it's like the, the wall and, and protecting our border in Mexico. If we're not going to treat Americans number one in America, then why have a country? Right? Each country, you have your people and you're treated the best in that country. In theory, that's why you have that country, you know. The Mexicans are best treated in Mexico. The Indians are best treated in India. The Americans, you'd think we treat the Americans best here. But, as you can see, uh, we don't care, especially if there's money in it, if there's profit to be had. And so that's, that's, it, that is a blatant thing. And it sounds like, well, one, it's proof that this happens, but uh, two, it sounds like this is where Disney just got busted. So a lot of companies will deny it, but now they got busted doing it. Um, so is that now? Uh, in terms of, is it still worth to get your degree in engineering, or is this pointless that they're all going to go? These jobs are all going to go to um, uh, the Chinese and East Indians and other foreigners. Yes, because two reasons. One, it, it's I know this may not you may not like it. It's not right. It's not moral. Um, but um, oh shoot, what's the two things I was going to say? Oh, there's still. Uh, the, the starting salaries, uh, the economic proof, the economic data is just still convincing that if you should go and major in engineering. Um, so yeah, don't don't just stay at home and do pot. Don't major in the liberal arts. Uh, it's still worth your time to go and, and become an engineer, go into STEM. Um, of course, things change as, as petroleum engineering, as you know, is that with the bursting of the Bakken bubble there. Um, but the other thing is, I did some research, and right now it depends on what statistics you want to, you want to use. There's about four million engineers in the United States, uh, and the U.S. only grants 80,000 H-1B visas um, to foreigners. You know, they want to increase that, uh, but if you look at, at the size of the labor market, the, the STEM field, and that's just engineers. Um, there was engineers and science workers, I think, something like that. Um, 80,000 out of 4 million, they're just, it's, it's not, they're not going to replace us. Now, they could down the road, but you'd have to, like, have 4 million visas, not the, the mere 80,000. So, uh, whereas I'm definitely against what Disney did, um, and, and that's just blatantly wrong, I do appreciate where we want to get, you know, there there could be some labor shortages. There there could be some skills we just can't get here in the United States. And let's be honest, uh, not a lot of American kids want to major in engineering. Um, a lot of they're too lazy. They don't want to do it. And another thing I was reading on a different article is a lot of these engineers who are engineers in the United States, they don't end up going into engineering. They go up and work in finance or programming or something like for for the financial uh, financial firms, uh, insurance stuff like that. So I, I wouldn't worry about it now. 
Um, yeah, it kind of sucks when this happens. Uh, if you are ever asked to replace or train in your replacement, fuck no. <laughs> you don't do say fireman suing your motherfucking ass. That's, I don't know exactly what you could sue him for. Um, but, um, yeah, you, you, I mean, at least have some respect. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, so I, don't, I know it gets underneath, you know, a burn near saddle when you see a story like Disney here. Uh, but that does not mean it's not worth going into STEM or engineering for, for your uh, studies. Um, and it doesn't mean that foreigners are going to be taking over all 4 million uh, engineering jobs here in the U.S. or putting all 4 million engineers out of work. So uh, just keep an eye on it. Don't don't hate Punjab or Apu when they come over here. They're, they're nice people. One of my best friends actually came from India. That's how I met them. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not quite the threat it is now. Uh, but, yeah, if you see shit like that, absolutely report it. Go to Department of Labor. Absolutely. So, Best of luck. Toodles.